What's going on everybody? I'm Mike from Steel and Flint. Today we're talking about high speed sync. What is it and how do I set it up? Let's do it. So high speed sync is essentially using your flash with a faster shutter speed than your camera's native shutter speed. Usually this is around 1 200th, 1 250th of a second on most DSLRs. And not every flash can do this. So we're gonna be using the Godox 8200 and Godox X Pro trigger today. What high speed sync allows you to do is really dial down the ambient light to create a more dramatic feel of your images. All right, so now that we know basically what high speed sync is and does, let's set up our lights. So after attaching your trigger to your flash, you're gonna to wanna to turn it on. Take note of the channel and letter number you have activated for our flash later on. Now you'll notice we're not able to exceed 1 200th of a second shutter speed right now. That's because high speed sync isn't enabled. So to do that, we're gonna hit this sync button right here until we see this icon. Now that high speed sync's enabled, we can use any shutter speed up to 1 8000th. Okay, so our camera's ready. Now for the flash. So in order for these two to work together, we need to make sure the channel and letter group match. So we're gonna check here and here. So you'll see our channels match, but our letter groups don't. So pressing this button, we're gonna switch to group A. Okay, so now that everyone's set up, let's just do a quick test shot to make sure everything works. All right, everything looks good. Let's go shoot. All right, so since we're all social distancing, I'm gonna use my dog for example. He won't mind, right? The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get an ambient read. So this is just like taking any other picture with available light. All right, after some negotiation for treats, we have the Magbox set up and the 8200 on camera right. What we're gonna do is power on the trigger. And since we're at 164th power, let's take our first test shot. Oof. So here's where high-speed sync's gonna to come to the rescue. A good rule of thumb is one to two stops under your ambient read. Better. Since the ambient light's no longer a factor based on our shutter speed, we're gonna change our flash power. All right, so there we go. We've eliminated the ambient light using our shutter speed and our flash is now the main source. And don't forget the treats. So again, start off with your ambient light reading, then underexpose a couple stops based on the look you want to achieve. After that, dial in your flash power till you gain the results you like and enjoy. Remember, high speed sync is an awesome tool to have in your arsenal. Use it to hide things from the background, bring out some dope sunsets, have some fun with it. If you're curious about learning even more, check out our Facebook group. Happy shooting, and see you again soon.